Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I've got a really, really cool tutorial for you. And it's using a new Premiere effect called the VR Chroma Abbreviation. And basically what it does is RGB split, but in one effect, and honestly the effects are amazing, as you can see right now. So this is going to be quite an easy, quick tutorial, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get into the video. Oh yeah, also, new room, new pad. Ooh. Anyway, into the new video. Ooh. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So firstly, you want to open up Premiere. I'm sure you know how to do that. And then once you're in Premiere, I've, I've imported my clips. And then what you want to do is create a new sequence. You can go down to new item, sequence. Make it 1080 by, you know, 1920 by 1080. Mine's 25 frames. If you're in America, do 30 frames. Um, and then once you have your sequence, we're just going to import a bit of footage. So I'm going to import my footage here. And you're going to be really surprised at how easy this is going to be. So let's maybe grab a different footage. Just grab this just because it's got a bit of distance to it. Okay, cool. So we've got some footage there. Right, now what we want to do is go to effects and then I've already searched it, but basically type in VR. So this is part of like the new VR update that they've uh, uh, um, that Adobe have released. And all you want to do is go down to chromatic abbreviations and then you want to apply that to your layer. Oh my lord, the effect is already there and it's looking pretty groovy. Now I can see this being used in so many music videos, etc. And yeah, it's easy as hell to use. So let me just quickly go through the effects. So uh, frame layout. So if you change it to stereoscopic over and under, it changes it a little bit. Like you can see there's still some kind of abbreviations, but it's very subtle around, like you can see it around the head there. It's a bit more subtle. Um, but if you keep it on monoscopic, then you obviously get the more uh, exaggerated splits. And then if you change point of interest, it basically just changes where in like, you know, the interest uh, is like affecting the, the footage basically. And then you've got the abbreviation red, green and blue. So what you do here is you can change which, which layers are being affected the most. So you can like do it a little bit, you know, a little bit more subtle and change it out. You can, you can create some really cool effects. Like This could be like some really cool trippy effects going on here, like transitioning in from a different scene into this. And then blue, you know, does the same thing on the blue layer. And then fall off kind of gives you like this, you know, more of a stretched in feel. Yeah, and then fall out invert kind of inverts the scene. Um, so kind of pulls it outwards. But yeah, guys, that is that is it. That's how you do the old uh, new effect that I found. It's really, really cool, and I hope you guys can use it in some really cool music videos. So yeah, get creative, guys, and show me what you've done. I'd love to see what you've made of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!